Hello and welcome back to the Cosmic Engine for another episode of RPG Corner. In the RPG Corner this episode we have Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Knights of the Old Republic was released back in 2003 for Xbox and PC. Uh, it was developed by Bioware and published by the non-existent LucasArts. The game's story was written by ex-Bioware employee and quite famous novelist Drew Carpishian and the game's soundtrack was composed by Jeremy Soule. This year, in fact, marks Knights of the Old Republic's 10th birthday and has subsequently been released for iOS devices. Now, it should be noted in this video, I will not be spoiling the story. Uh, as the story is fantastic, I believe that good stories should remain unspoiled for those who haven't experienced them yet. Now, Knights of the Old Republic, or KOTOR to its fans, is set around 300 years before the Old Republic, uh, which is the MMO, and it, for those who know little about Star Wars lore and timelines, that's roughly around 4,000 years before the first film, Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. Now, the game's story takes place in the middle of a galactic war. The fallen Jedi Malak unleashes a newfound Sith fleet upon the Republic. Uh, many Jedi have fallen to his cause, and the Republic scrambles to strike back at such an overwhelming force, hence you enter the fray. Now, the precursor to this is the Mandalorian Wars, by which the Mandalorian race uh, attacked the Republic, and Malak and his master Revan, they went to fight the Mandalorian Wars and while they were out fighting the Mandalorian Wars something happened to them and they came back as Sith. Now once they came back the Jedi assaulted Revan's ship and Malak then used that opportunity to kill his former master um, and then he assumed the title of the Dark Lord of the Sith. Now as I say, that's what that's the premise of the game. I'm not going to go too much into the story because the story is so fantastic that it really should be experienced. Uh, but it is one of the game's certain strong points. Now, the game mechanics work off a dice twenty role playing system, similar to that to used in the Dungeons and Dragons board game. As such, your character has a set of stats such as constitution and strength, as well as having a set of skills such as persuade, computer skill, repair, things like that. As you level, you not only gain points to both level the stats and the skills, uh, but you also gain new abilities such as combat moves or passive bonuses. Now, KOTOR is regarded by many to be one of the finest, if not the finest, Star Wars game ever created. I have to agree with that. I think the, the, this game in particular, uh, personal to me, sparked my love of role-playing games and of Star Wars. It was also the game that defined Bioware as a company. Uh, it, it defined their ability to tell great stories and was one of the first successful formulas for Bioware in terms of going forward for formulas for games. Since then, franchises like Mass Effect and Dragon Age have come along and anyone who know who's played KOTOR first will tell you that the mechanics in Dragon Age and Mass Effect all stemmed from the mechanics of KOTOR's great, great game. KOTOR's main strengths hold up even today. Its story, characters and moral choices. Even if the graphics are somewhat now dated and some of the mechanics are considered to be a bit old and a bit user unfriendly, to me this has to be one of the most finest games ever made. Even now, I would recommend this over a modern day graphical snooze fest any day of the week. I think if you're looking for a memorable story, then this is the game for you. KOTOR created one of the most memorable stories in gaming today. With its twists and turns, highs and lows, it really was a quite an enjoyable roller coaster. But what is story without great characters? KOTOR has great characters in spades. Um, with great voice acting talent to boot. Two of my fav all-time favourite Star Wars characters were from KOTOR, being the fierce Mandalorian Kandra Sordo and, of course, the witty and deadly HK assassin droid. Knights of the Old Republic really is a Star Wars fan's dream, uh, an RPG lover's romance and a game designer's aspiration. If you love story, you, you love Star Wars, great characters, droids, bookies swords, lightsabers, all that good stuff, this is for you. 10 years on and still going strong and no doubt in another 10 years it will still be regarded as one of the most fantastic games ever created. 
really really fantastic uh, i would recommend it wholeheartedly and you can pick it up on steam you can uh, find a cheap co box copy off the internet it's definitely worth picking up um, and obviously spawned the sequel created by Obsidian Entertainment which was Night Seal Republic 2 and then that further on developed into the MMO uh, Star Wars and the Old Republic. So definitely, definitely do pick this up. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.